And in a tie ball game late, they're going to make a move here as we'll see a pinch runner come on at first base. Hey, everybody. It's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to the Tug Dick Show. That's not Gregor Blanco. That's Tug Dick. Are you kidding me? You didn't even get his name right? Brandon Bell will step in now as his guys look for a break. Unfortunately, Tug Dick has been on the bench for the last few games, despite having done well the last few times he's been in. We've, the team's won and lost some games with him on the bench. Come on, Brendan Belt. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Tied ball game, top of the eighth. Now the first pitch. I do not know. I mean, they must have had a really slow guy on first. But in a tied ball game, why don't you put your fastest runner on second? Make him the leadoff runner. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe the shortstop or some very important key um, player is that second right now, so they don't want to. But I just know Tug Dick's the fastest guy on this team. Come on, Brendan Belt. Destroy this pitcher. I hear a cow bell. There must be a cow in the stadium. Here we go, guys. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. Boy, oh, never a dull moment with this guy on the mound. Hey, get him something right here. Let's sure drive you crazy at times, can he? He drives me crazy. Oh, oh, like no one else. Oh, oh, he drives Dick crazy. He just likes to touch himself. Ew. Someone's got to. Did you strike out? Oh, thank God. Full count. All right, come on, Brandon Belt. I don't care if you take a ball or you get a hit. Just get us advanced. Oh, he struck out, you freaking wiener. Come on, Wolverine. Usually Wolverine craps it up. Oh, no! <laughs> you threw it to the wrong base, dickhole. <laughs> oh, I bumped the button because I or the uh, left analog stick because I was just kind of goofing around. First offering on the way. Now a chopper to first might only get one. Tejada for one. Relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well. I at least advance the runner to third. Let's see if we can get a run. No, of course not. Phase, but that's it. So meanwhile, that go-ahead run gets to move up 90 feet. He's now standing on third. All right, Eric Young. I'm going to deny. Oh, I'm playing right field. I'm so confused. A 1-1 home. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. I'm starting to worry that the manager might be putting Dick on the bench more. That sounds weird. Which would be bad because Tug Dick was starting to hit better. Honestly, and being on the bench would be the worst place. It would be better to be in Triple A than on the bench. Oh, come on, guys. Let's win. Let's not give it up to these Mets. Man, I'm so not used to playing right field. Nice job, dude. Good job by the second baseman. Yeah, you go back to your metropolitan lifestyle. Nice job, Soul Patch. I don't know who you are. <laughs> I think probably tells them that on the bus. He's like, my name's Jeffrey. You've seen me in other games. I don't know, Jeffrey. Like, guys, I'm first and second. Top of the tenth. No outs. Honestly, it's not super exciting, but I think we should bunt here. Here's the first pitch. You gotta give me something to bunt, dude, if I'm going to bunt. I doubt he wanted to get in quite so tight with the hard stuff there, but hey, this is a guy with good There we go. Good bunt. Hey, we might have got out, but we advanced the runners to second and third. Good sacrifice. It was a good bunt too. I thought he might beat it out, but a good job by the pitcher, whoever throwing it. What's up, shifty eyes? Alright. Yes! Yes! 
All right, we got a two-run lead because of Tug Dick's key bunt right there. Advancing the runner. Good deal. Playing just small ball. He's going to be like, you have small balls? I don't want to hear about that. All right, we just need one more out to win this. This game might not help out Tug Dick's average, but it certainly is going to help out the team if he can catch this here. Ah, you don't have any hits. Well, I could tell Tugdick the same thing, actually. Right You're out, son of a baby! <laughs> we win! Hell yeah! See, manager? Tugdick should be playing all the time. You put him into pinch hit, he helps out in key situations. And we win in extra innings. I'm pretty damn sure we're in first place all by ourselves now. See, manager, what are you thinking not playing Tug Dick? He's like one of your most exciting players. He's fast. He hits about as well as anyone else on the team in the 250s. That actually makes him better than some people. And he's versatile. Check of the line score as you see the key players there in Man, our team had 11 hits, victory. only two runs. Wow. Tug Dick should just run in there and be like, interview me! Wasn't my bunt amazing? Guys, we Tim Hudson is like, these guys, man, they make it so hard for me to win because they don't like to score. Right Why do they like Bumgarner better than me? They always score for that, dude. Come on. <laughs> Sorry, Tim Hudson. Not bad. I mean, yeah. The important thing is to win. Just doing the little things like that, doing a sacrifice, getting the guys over to second and third. Let's look at the standings. We are number one! Not only are we number one, we're two games ahead of the Dodgers. Hopefully we don't play the Dodgers for a long time to come. I like that a lot. Oh, and Tug Dick is pinch hitting again. Oh, apparently the Dodgers won a game because we're only a game and a half ahead of them now. What the hell, manager? Why do you keep pinch hitting with Tug Dick? Let him start. Why well, you gotta punish him right when he starts hitting well? And it would appear we'll see a pinch hitter here as he'll try to get something started with the bases empty. Let's get away. it started up in here. Hit the manager in the head for not starting you. All right, top of the seventh, two outs. We're down. Oh, we're up by a run. Man, he hit it hard. Unfortunately, it was a little bit on the inside and a little bit early. Throw it! Oh, should have let that go. No, 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 no! Damn it! In contact. Okay, Juan Budieres, can you, um... Oh, what happened? Oh, I accidentally hit the skip to the end button. Which basically, it skips everything unless Tug Dick would have been in. So Tug Dick, 0 for 1, pinch hitting again. We win again, though! No, we lost! We lost! 7 to 3! Hey, manager! See, this is what happens when you don't start Tug Dick. He gets only one at bat? You're fucking kidding me. Punch that manager so hard. What the hell's wrong with him? I mean, seriously. I get Tug Dick hitting 250 is not a great average. But it's way better than what most of the team is doing. Um, we don't need that, thanks. What was I going to look at? Let's look at team. Uh, leaderboard? No, that's not what I wanted. Oh, where, where are the stats? Oh, 
I don't... There we go. Statistics. Player statistics for the team. Well, somebody's hitting 341 finally. Well, I can see people are finally hitting better on the team. But st that still makes two, four, six. Tug Dick is still the eighth best hitter on the team. And he's a fast rookie. It's nice to see the rest of the team starting to hit well. We're only a game ahead of the Dodgers now after that crappy loss. Oh, and we're going to pinch hit again. This whole episode is going to be pinch hitting. We're down two zip. Oh, man, I'm... Really, manager? Really? Well, sometimes early on in the career, if you're a speedster, you have moments like that. Where you end up being the pinch runner or the pinch hitter. I can't believe the manager, though. Sorry for all the loading screens in this one. I did not expect this episode to be like this. He's like, dude, you need your bat. I'm like, oh, fuck you, manager. Or hitting coach, or whatever. Just fuck you. Top of the eighth, one out. There we go. Finally doing some good job of the pinch hitting duty. Hey, Al Davis. Suck my dick. Back into the stretch for him again as we take a look at his line so far. Hey, Angel Pagan, you're 0 for 3. Oh, that's why we're on the bench, because Angel Pagan started hitting well. So he got his position back at center, probably. Fuck it, we're going to try and steal him. I don't even care if we get thrown out. Fuck the manager. I didn't go in. Ah, I should have, actually. I like that manager. I didn't go when I should have. I'm going to go now when I might get thrown out. I don't even give a fuck. Oh, we're going to be thrown out. Fuck you, manager. Double fuck you. That was terrible. Good hit. Terrible base running. Well, this episode was all kinds of disappointing. Oh, and they pulled Tug Dick. And we lost. The Mets won. Yeah, look at Tug Dick. He's like, fuck you. Fuck you, manager. He's like, what? He's like, I hit well. I got good speed, and I'm on the bench. Go fuck your mama. Tug Dick has a good attitude. Well, everybody, thanks for watching Pinch Hit Fest. Um, oh, fuck. Let's see if we can get into the next game. Uh, I'm sorry if this is a long episode. I want to rage. I'm like, come on, start me, manager. Like, when Tug Dick starts, we win, because he's good at defense, he's got good speed, he doesn't have the best batting average, admittedly, but he does stuff on the base pass. Okay, that game, not so much so, but still. Oh, training. Well, I guess this is where I'm going to end it, because watching training is boring. Next time, hopefully we'll actually get a start in the game. Thanks for watching, everybody.